And then you also need to advocate for greater, greater cloud interoperability. So you need to push vendors, uh, in this case, the hyperscalers and other technology companies you're dealing with for standards and tooling that makes switching or bridging between clouds gener generally uh, practical. In other words, something you're able to do. Lock-in should be an issue. And even though we're going to get lock in, locked into different cloud providers from time to time, we should remove that operational risk as much as possible. And you can do that through architecture and you can do that through picking best of breed technologies and backing the appropriate technology into your business problem. That's going to generate the most value for the business. That's what it's all about. You know, too long, we've kind of made a knee jerk reaction to go ahead and pick, um, you know, the major hyperscalers because those, those are the ones getting the most uh, press out there. And obviously, you know, they're the ones who are kind of leading you know, the thought in terms of enterprise technology and how it's growing in the space. Uh, I don't think that's a good practice. This needs to be an independent operations where we consider everything and anything as technology we can bring to bear to solve these business problems. Right now, I don't think that's happening. I think all of these folks, including some of the big consulting firms out there, have a single focus on a particular provider or maybe one or two providers. And I think we have to look at hundreds of different solutions that are out there that are perfectly fine, work well, are going to provide you more resiliency. And the big thing, you're able to bring this in at a much reduced cost, which we need. We're paying too much for cloud computing right now.